o kia ora koutou ka mai um, kia koutou katoa i tēnei a ia ai a e uri a au no te kāwe maunga me te awa wanganui a ko Linda Faulkner tō ko ingoa uh, uh, Ai, tēnei anō te mei. Um, I, w- I had thought that I'd got away scot-free from having to be on the side of the podium, the conference, but this is my short cameo appearance. I'm um, talking about the last on the list, I think, of um, integration for impact topics that we're thinking about, um, what could marine governance look like in Aotearoa. We've got at least three projects, and you've heard from those three pieces of work across the um, the course of the conference to pull together um, but there are other uh, there's other pieces of work in the challenge that we'll need to draw on and potentially beyond the challenge so the current I guess the issue is that um, our governance systems in Aotearoa at present are largely viewed and applied through a, mo- a monocultural lens and I think We've had demonstration of that over the last three days and heard a lot about that. And we think that that really limits the potential and the opportunity to actually transform our connection to the moana and with each other um, and the need to work more together. So what could marine governance, the marine governance continuum look like when we think about it through different worldview contexts? We do have multiple lenses in this country and we've profiled at least two of them at this conference. Um, And we're really aiming that this activity uh, paints the picture of what the governance continuum actually looks like um, and what it could look like in some of the work, for example, that Beth and co talked about um, yesterday, um, the scenarios and then the very articulate presentation from Liz this morning about um, you know, where the gaps are and where improvements could be made. So drawing on the insights from related research from across the challenge and from the synthesis activities that you've heard about this, this morning and this afternoon, to consider the barriers and enablers, one of the clear messages we um, got when we first started talking about governance with our stakeholder panel was Yes, but you need to actually think about the barriers that are in place and and find ways to overcome those. Um, And the idea is that the work will inform government, iwi, industry and communities. In terms of outputs, again looking at um, guidance on a common language um, and the the governance conversations that we've already had in the challenge I think have highlighted that there are um, multiple conversations and multiple language used, and you know we heard the swear word of co-governance this, um, earlier today. Um, and we are very limited in terms of having a common language that makes sense to all of us and understanding what marine governance is and what marine governance could look like. We um, are looking at profiling exemplars of different governance scenarios, and some are already being done within projects in the challenge, and then to put forward some recommendations on the options um, to inform decision making looking to the future. So that's a very quick summary. Kelda.